This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, well that was uncomfortable and really weird, but hopefully we dodged that one. I made a save before the decision, so we can always go back. I'm accustomed to being used by others. After all, at my part-time job, it's not considered acceptable to second-guess your orders, let alone defy them. Once you're given instructions, you're expected to carry them out to the letter, without question, without hesitation, and without doubt. Yep, military. In other words, there's no right to disobey. Then again, simply do what you're told, and you'll always be provided with the necessities of life. There's no need to agonize over your decisions, and you're not the one making them. In that case, it's a very easy life. Oh boy. Don't worry about it. I'm currently carrying a metal overhead projector down the hallway. In our increasingly computerized age, this sort of bulky machine is already well on the road to complete obs ob <laughs> obsolescence. But a fraction of the teaching staff, specifically those older than 50, don't seem to have gotten the memo. As a general rule, these older instructors prefer to use handwritten tr transparencies as visual aids for their lessons. Personally, I don't really like to complain about the elderly not moving with the times, but every classroom in this school has a retractable LCD projector mounted in the ceiling, so being forced to lug this heavy thing around for every lesson is definitely enough to inspire a few exasperated sighs. Oh no, I'm not. You're seriously exaggerating. This is nothing. Saving people is... something else entirely. Something much, much more difficult. In the first place, Amine isn't my superior or anything. I have the right to turn her requests down flat. Since I'm not exercising that right, I'm acting out of my own free will. There's nothing to thank me for. Anyway, I'm just trying to show off in front of a woman. Pure self-interest. <laughs> True! No! As a general rule, I dislike women who are asking me annoying questions. You don't have to follow me around, by the way. I know where the equipment room is. <laughs> oh, I don't know. There are definitely some girls who find that attitude cool, but you do have a point. That a fact. Let me rephrase that then. Leave this to me, Amine. You go on ahead. I'll catch up later. <laughs> Amine, once this job's done, let's get married. No! <laughs> wow! You are so freaking desperate for a boyfriend, aren't you? Duly noted. <laughs> oh, that you're too late for that, Amine. <laughs> you're way too late for that. Yeah, not a problem. Burger King. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Culver's. You really don't need to do that. Look. I guess that's one way to make sure he comes to eat it. Hey! Hold on! <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that! <laughs> Unilaterally announcing a schedule as if the matter has already been decided, then disappearing before I have the time to object, it's a favorite trick of crafty older women. By repeating this process numerous times, they deeply imprint the idea, I can't oppose this woman, onto my subconscious, ultimately depriving me of the ability to voice any resistance to their plans. <laughs> Art G. <laughs> so, Yuji and I are similar in some ways, and extremely different in others. <laughs> <laughs> Who, why exactly do these sort of sly women flock around me like mobs to a flame? Because you're the only guy! <laughs> That's why. <laughs> At this point, I'm half convinced it's some kind of a curse. That would be an interesting plot twist. Pushy girl. Watching Amine bound jauntily off down the hallway, I heave a heavy... Oh, I'm sorry, a light sigh. Heavy sighs for next episode. In the next moment, the cell phone in my breast pocket begins to buzz with a harsh electronic sound. 
So help me if Mitru asks to ask me to be her dad, I'm gonna freak out. As the raining phone vibrates against me, I feel the warmth drain from my chest. It's my black cell phone, the one I was given for work. I pull the phone out of my pocket and glance at the LCD screen. The caller's name is displayed, Julia, first and foremost among the sly women in my life. After a short deep breath, I press the answer button and hold the phone to my ear. Ooh. The first thing I hear is electronic noise as the call is converted from a general analog line to an encrypted digital connection. That and the commanding voice of a woman. A voice that brooks no opposition. In answer to the her clipped, <laughs> succinct words, I offer a similarly terse and business-like response. What's the situation? <laughs> Guess we gotta get rid of these pesky teeth! Affirmative. She cuts off the call without warning before the word is completely out of my mouth. Part for the course. 17 minutes. Returning the phone to my hand in my breast pocket, I glance at the cheap digital wristwatch on my left wrist, which currently reads 4.50pm. Looking up, I hurriedly scan my surroundings. When I look back over my shoulder, I find Sakaki performing her usual languid intellectual girl act, one elbow resting on the windowsill as she sighs apathetically for no apparent reason. I call out to her without hesitation. Sakaki! Nani? Sakaki turns to look at me with a displeased frown on her face, roughly translatable as, I'm not deaf, and approaches me with obvious reluctance. Sorry, but could you take care of this? Huh? Something urgent just came up. You know where the equipment room is, right? I need you to take this back for me. Please. I owe you one. Sorry, my country needs me. Not waiting for Sakaki's response, I turn my back on her and break into a run. She doesn't raise her voice to berate me, let alone chase after me. Exactly as I'd calculated beforehand. I'm pretty sure Sakaki loathes domineering men from the bottom of her heart, but that hatred is so intense precisely because she can't offer much resistance to them. Ooh, we get the epic music. It takes me one minute and forty seconds to reach my room. Since I ran all out, I've worked up a good sweat in that time. But thanks to the daily running regimen I've kept up since coming here, my breathing is still pretty regular. I quickly peel myself out of my sweat-soaked school uniform and toss it carelessly aside. Opening the sack sitting in the corner of my room, I take out my change of clothes. Specifically, a green work uniform with the name of a cleaning company embroidered on the shirt. A cup, a cap of the same color, and a package of disposable adult diapers. Why do you need those? First order of business, I take a diaper out of the plastic packaging and wrap it around myself. Why do you need these? In my line of work generally, and especially in my specific job, it's often impossible to take a bathroom break once you've taken your position. Oh. Fact of the matter is, I once spent several hours of a lengthy job stewing in my own piss. The discomfort I endured on my occasion, that occasion is beyond my ability to express in words. As a direct result, I picked up the habit of wearing a disposable diaper to my job, no matter how minor. As soon as I finish with the diaper, I slip on my light green work shirt. You're just taking out the trash, though, right? It shouldn't take that long. Step into the trousers, tighten my belt, and put on my hat, completing my change into the frog uniform, reviled by all who wear it. Finally, I put on a pair of deerskin gloves as a measure against any possible injury to my fingertips, completing my preparations. Taking my phones out of the school uniform, I push them into my breast pocket and head for the door. As I reach for the doorknob, I take a final look back inside the interior of my room. The school uniform scattered messily on the floors kinda stands out, but there's no reason to worry about it now. In this school, there aren't many superiors to chew me out about it while brandishing the punishment stick. <laughs> Jeez. Might as well just clean it up when and if I come back. There's always the possibility I will never get the chance, but in that case, nobody's going to be able to nag me about it anything ever again. You're just taking out the trash, dude. I burst out of the dorm and rush towards the school gate. My body feels light. Even as I burrowed my way into a lax student life, casually gathering small fragments of happiness with every passing day. Even when I was startled to find my cheeks loosening into a spontaneous smile. Even at the best of times, that underlying feeling of frustration never disappeared. That vague, heavy anxiety was always with me. And yet, with a single curt phone call, that weight has been lifted from my shoulders. My body moves freely, effortlessly. When you get down to it, this is how I was made. This is how I'm supposed to operate. This is who I am! As I try to convince myself of that, my body grows lighter still. But in exchange, I can feel the gaping empty hole in my chest growing wider. An unexpected voice brings me to a reflexive halt. When I turn, sure enough, Amine's standing a few meters away. Sorry, duty calls. Yeah, got called into work all of a sudden. Well, I might not be able to make it back. 
That's a shame. I'm gonna get back at 5 a.m. I don't know if I'm going to be back at a reasonable hour. Alright. Yosh! Okay, well, we gotta make it back for that. That sounds pretty good, actually. No, pineapple's good! That's not it. Thank you, Amine. <laughs> Will you just leave? I need to go to my janitor training! Okay, I'm heading out. Oh, hi, Jan. It's Spimbo! <laughs> and her bimbo mobile. Hi, this isn't going to make things awkward at all! Look, woman, don't just casually butt your way into a conversation between young people. Wow. <laughs> this is our, um... Boss slash legal guardian? Julius, a.k.a. JB, a.k.a. Jan from The Office. Why are you here? Oh, am I riding in the bimbo mobile? Nice! <laughs> I wanted to. I don't remember anything about that ride being you. Okay, can you stop talking in that sugary tone of voice? It's raising my blood pressure. Hey, girl. Right. As I may have mentioned before, this blonde clown is JB. Please feel free to ignore her stupid jokes. You know, for a grown woman, you have a very whiny voice. Stop talking, let's just go. No, no. <laughs> I have my I have my co-workers and I have my friends. The two don't ever intertwine. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> she knows everything. No, I am not. Screw you, Julia. Do not try shipping me with her. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> That's more than enough, isn't it? Let's go, JB. Ouchie ouch. Later, Amine. Oh, yes, best music. Why would I be? <laughs> you are correct. That's right, I don't. You stink of gunpowder, JB. It was a figure of speech. It's also going to be suspicious when I get into the bimbo mobile with you in a janitor outfit. And a gun. I know. Or actually, I don't think we have a gun. We'll get one, though. <laughs> this car never gets any less obnoxiously flashy, and the interior stinks of perfume. <laughs> no way! I put the- <laughs> I get the Yankee Candle gunpowder air freshener and put it in my car. <laughs> As she speaks, JB leans over toward me in order to put on her seatbelt, her body exuding the same sweet smell of perfume that pervades the car. 
It's the raw scent of an adult woman. <laughs> How's it going, Con uh, Collins? Yep, we're in the bimbo mobile now. As a general rule, women sprinkle more perfume on themselves with every year they age. Some of them end up as walking air fresheners, but JB's fragrance, fragrance isn't too unpleasant. Somewhat reminiscent of a mother's scent, if anything. Better than the smell of gunpowder, to be sure. No, gunpowder. <laughs> Take me to Pizza Hut! <laughs> and, what's our destination? Cool. See, this is getting interesting. Will I be working with a partner? <laughs> I work alone. Then there's hardly any point in meeting them, is there? Ooh! We gotta meet the girls. Maybe they're better than the, our schoolmates. <laughs> what does that team matter? I'll be with them for what? Part of the van ride? And their gender is even res less relevant. But what if they're... What if they've got good personalities, though? Can't. I'm still a shallow sleeper, and my dreams are always about the past. Sounds like a plan. I open the glove compartment and retrieve a bottle of eye drops and a sleep mask. According to the watch on my wrist, it's now 5.26 p.m. About time I got started on stretching my ocular muscles in preparation for my job. Pressing the back of my head firmly against my headrest, I apply a single drop of fluid to both my eyes, then gently close them. Eyes still shut, I move my eyeballs in a regular figure eight pattern, sometimes squeezing my eyelids firmly down against them. Opening my eyes, I swing my focus up and down to the absolute limit, as if attempting to look at my own forehead and chin. Next, I move my eyes left and right, trying to catch a glimpse of my own ears. I repeat the same exercises a total of five times, with one minute breaks in between each repetition. This is weird. When I'm finished, I gently close my eyes, slip on the sweet mask, and consciously slow my breathing. And inside the car, enveloped in JB's sweet fragrance, I quietly fall into sleep. Cool. Let's... Oh, we don't get to see the job! What the heck? At least I don't think so. We already tried Mitchell. I, I'm gonna take, like, a five-second break, get my mug of water, because I forgot to get that earlier, because my throat is parched. <laughs> After all, it's not an arty stream if there's no water ASMR, am I right? Ah, uh, okay, that's nice. If I stream visual novels, I have to get water at some point. Um, Mitch is not a good nickname for Michiru Saji. I don't think she really needs a nickname, because I actually kind of like the name Michiru. <laughs> so I can't tell if this is happening concurrently while Yuji's going on his job, or if this is like, the next day. <laughs> you feeling lucky, Michiru? How about just her name? I guess Michiru is free syllables, which can be a mouthful at times, but it's a fine name. No, I'm calling you by your first name. You just can't win with her sometimes, can you? 
みちる様ということでぐそそれはそのぐぐ How about just みちる It's that's fewer syllables than what you're saying That's true. Tatoeba, Jeez and Dekawa, it's Mojiz and Oktaker, so Adana Sarino de Ate. Who is that? Nanikako, Sintatek in a Tokcho, Omoni, visual caraimages, Riona, Adana. I have a feeling that Mitri is going to get her feelings hurt in three, two, one. Oh, Murinia, Adana, Oskaris, Yoga, Dokonia, no. Not everybody needs a nickname. But she's not a detective! And she's not blonde! <laughs> well, I mean, she dyes her hair blonde, but she's not a natural blonde. Wow! Stop being mean! And knock it off with the detective! <laughs> I wonder why she's getting noisy. Easy with your mouth. Soy sauce is good. What? You guys suck at coming up with nicknames. I thought we already had the nickname skit. This is just retreading old ground. <laughs> what neighbors? You mean Yumiko? <laughs> That TV show sucks, though. <laughs> really, out of, out of every, out of all of the verbal and physical abuse you've suffered, Michiru, this is where you're drawing the line at bullying, really? Not with hot sauce? Okay, Sachi's best. <laughs> Sasquit, what? Ew. No, thank you. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't eat it with mayo. You eat it with aioli. <laughs> oh, Yumiko is actually here. <laughs> you have so much and also so little self awareness, Makina. <sighs> I 
使って声かけられたって感じで大きく肩を落としているあなそこのあなたとりあえずこっち向け<笑> Because Yuji's not here, I'm assuming this is happening while he's going to work. Maybe people don't eat. Oh, maybe not everyone eats fried squid. She knows what fried squid is. Oh my gosh, Makina has zero self awareness. <laughs> Plebeian cuisine? She's gonna name you like no squid, probably. <sighs> and box cutter comes out in three, two, one. Oh, never mind. That cruel, they're just dumb. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Ma Makina's getting more and more of a potty mouth as this game goes on. <laughs> Very true. Um, okay, so now that single line gave us a lot more depth. No, you definitely have a self. Yeah, that's where I get out. <laughs> wow! With friends like these, who needs enemies? Hey, hey. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, we're having pork. We don't have a deep fat fryer in here. Okay then. Seafood is meat. Uh, he had to go to work at Chick fil A. <laughs> he was also wearing a diaper, which is um weird. Oh, so you 
両親を早くに亡くしたみたいですし学費とかも自分で働いて捻出していらっしゃるのでしょうかあ,あ彼は書類上海外からの招待入学枠で在籍しているから学費の8割は免除されているはずよ Yumiko knows about this she's read our file 免除でも日々の生活費とかは自費ですよね Very true そこまでは知らないわ<笑> Yumiko yes I have his bank account number <笑>私はそれを知っているのです。ミチュー、私はそれを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。それを知っているのです。ものすごく遠い親戚だっけあいつのお姉さんの妹 ?What? <笑>それって結局、何なのでは<笑>お姉さんの友達じゃなかったかしらそれって他人じゃん。他人がなんであいつの面倒見てるの<笑> ?Actually, he lives with the Dursleys。私に聞かれても知るわけないじゃない。Yumiko, we know, you, we know your dad owns the school and that he, you have access to his record. Wait, has Sachi met Jamie? I don't remember that. Or was Sachi just eavesdropping? Yes. 以前、校門の前を掃除していたときにお見かけしました。何やら校門から内部を監視するような不審な人物を発見したので、速やかに<笑>竹ぼうきを片手に声をかけましたら、あるでしょう。<笑> I can just imagine Sachi just taking the broom, like, with this death glare, like, who comes near our school? ねえ、サッチャン、不審者にとりあえず声をかけるってやめなよ。Then that dangerous person is gonna rue the day they met Komen Asachi. <laughs> I also love the fact that, like, Sachi is like this petite little thing, but also, like, <laughs> very intimidating when she wants to be. That's what you think. She's actually wearing a bulletproof vest under that maid uniform. <laughs> Everyone's met JB now? What the heck? Also, that is a very rarely used face on Michiru. <laughs> no, she's faking her smile? What? <laughs> oh, 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 some gum. I thought you said she gave me a gun the other day, which would be pretty weird, but also pretty awesome. <laughs> but it was but this stranger had candy. <laughs> See, strangers in the vans you can take the candy from. That's how it works, right? <laughs> Sarcasm mode. Boom. <laughs> I know I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> no, absolutely pick fights with the nation's life insurance ladies. <laughs> Well, she lives in the Bimbo Mobile, so it's okay. <laughs> I 
That's way too much. <laughs> Amine would know she's wrecked her share of cars. Who, who would want a car like that? <laughs> well, she found a genie lamp in the cave and then wished to be a prince, so... Yeah, she, she's got a lot. Nobody can agree. <laughs> wow, Makina. Not inaccurate, but wow. <laughs> no, people say howdy in America quite a bit. I guess depending on where you are. Definitely in, like, the, like, south. But even in the Midwest. <laughs> if you want to say how do you go to Cali, Texas, and Tennessee, yeah, that makes sense. だから、あの女によ。まあ、確かに若さとかおっぱいとかじゃ負けてないかもしれないけど。何すんだい。ツンデレじゃない。きっと今頃あの女、ユージの前でデレデレしてるわよ。レッサイ。あのさ、ミチ